Welcome to Review Detective guys. For those that are new here, we're a product review channel in which we give our average consumer's point of view and tell you if the product is worth buying or not. Now in today's video, Emco Plus sent us their shotgun style microphone which works with different devices such as phones, cameras, GoPros and so on. So I'll let you hear the difference it makes on your audio and ultimately if it's worth buying at $25. For starters, inside the box you get the microphone itself made mostly of plastics, you get an anti-shock mount which helps with unwanted vibration and handling noise, there are two types of microphone windscreen, a storage pouch as well as three adapting cables which I'll get into more details later on. Now to use your camera, slide the anti-shock mount into the camera's hot shoe mount, make sure to securely tighten it using the lock ring and clip the microphone in place either in the middle or use the included adapter to clip it farther back. Here I was happy to see that the anti-shock mount rotates a full 360 degrees, meaning you can record audio coming from the front of the camera or all other angles from which the audio source is coming from. Moving on, once the microphone is in place, make sure to use the right adapting cable. In this case, you'll need to use the TRS cable with one end plugged inside the microphone and the other inside the camera itself. As a side note, all the audio you've been hearing so far comes from this Sony lavalier microphone plugged into the H1N recorder. And now here's what the audio sounds like using the Emco Plus cardioid microphone. Right now I'm holding it quite close to my face in a vlogging style setup. But here's what it sounds like when it's farther away at about 2-3 to three meters from my mouth in a big echoey room. Put it all into perspective, now you can hear the audio coming straight from the camera's internal microphone, so I'll let you choose which one you prefer, but I think the difference is quite noticeable. For those that will be recording outdoors, here's what the microphone sounds like with the wind muff on, and here I'm hand holding the camera in a vlogging manner. For comparison, now I've unplugged the Emco Plus microphone, so what you're hearing is the audio from the Sony A6600 internal microphone, and hopefully you can hear the difference between the two. Now that you've heard the audio, here's the technical information behind this cardioid microphone, including the frequency response, polar coil, and product specification. Moving on, you can also pair the Emco Plus with your GoPro camera or smartphone. To do so on the phone, use the TRS cable plugged into the audio jack and start recording. As I did with the Sony camera, here's the audio coming from the phone connected to the Emco Plus cardioid microphone. And here again, I'm holding the phone at arm's length in a vlogging setup. And here's the audio coming straight from the phone's internal microphone. Again, I think the difference is quite noticeable, but you can make your own opinion by re-listening to the audio clips. Hopefully, these audio clips give you a good idea on the audio quality of the Emco Plus cardioid microphone. In my opinion, the best results will be for outdoor recordings. So if you need a microphone for a big echoey room, you'll be better off with a lavalier microphone like this one. Now, as always, if you've enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next Friday. Until then, Review Detective, out.